Hey guys, Hi. I'm Hannah and I'm Brandy and you're listening to Not, Not So, so Serious, Serious Podcast. Podcast. Yay. Welcome back everybody. <laughs> do you realize this is our 50th episode? No, I do not. It's our 50th episode, like all together. Well, that's about the amount of followers we have, so. We have 59 subscribers now. <laughs> We're one away from 60 and that's only 40 <laughs> away from 100. So, I mean, we're getting there. They say Slowly you put in the work, you see something from it. We've had four new subscribers since we started our new season. Yeah, we have. That so is good. this is season two. So if you are a new subscriber or if you've been with us since the beginning, we really appreciate it. And with that being said, why don't you subscribe right now? <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe right now. And give this video a like and leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys think. We love hearing feedback from you guys. And rate as long as stars. it is positive, no negative. Yeah, I we don't do negativity. Right I will delete your comment. <laughs> Period. Mm-hmm. Um, listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and rate us five stars. That would be amazing. We have a five star rating on both as of right now. Yeah. So that's a plus for all of the five people that reviewed it. So um, <laughs> one of them was me <laughs> and me. <laughs> also, one of our subscribers is also me. And me. And our parents. <laughs> <laughs> but we digress. We haven't done like a get to know me introduction type of episode since our very first pilot episode a and year and a half old. ago. And it's really old. And a lot of things change. So we thought for today's episode we would do like a refresher of who we are. And for people who are new, um, get to know us and what we're about and we're gonna do like a little interview for each other yeah I have so questions. that's interesting i brought my little notebook filled with questions and um i'm not that fancy so mine are all my notes on my phone but i like that phone yeah. case thanks i got this from amazon mm. and it obviously wasn't expensive because i don't pay that much for phone cases i don't remember how much it was but amazon mm. we should have like a storefront yeah yeah let yeah. us know if you would buy stuff from our Amazon storefront. I guess I'll go first. My yeah. name is Hannah. I am 26 years old, and I will be 27 this year in August. That's scary. Um, I I'm am not thinking about that. <laughs> I am married. I've been married for a year, a little over a year now. I got married in December of 2022. My husband's name is D, and he is amazing, and I love him so much. And I have a stepson named Noah. He is seven and will turn eight in May. That makes me feel really old. <laughs> um, I've been in his life since he was two years old. Uh, me and my husband have been together for a total of six years, so a long time. Longer than I've ever been with anybody else. So, yeah, that's good. Um, I am a dialysis tech. Uh, I've worked in healthcare for almost eight years now. Dang, that's crazy. I know. Uh, I used to be a phlebotomist at a hospital, and now I work in a dialysis clinic for a chronic kidney failure. And I love, love, love my job. Um, I think it's like my calling, you know. I feel like you just know, like, I feel like this is what I'm meant to do. Like, this is what I love. And I do love my job. I love my patients. Um, and I have a few hobbies. I love to crochet. And I love to cook. And I love being a wife. I love being a stepmom. And we're in the process of building a home right now, which I've talked about quite a bit in the last two episodes. So I go more in detail about that in those if you want to see that. But, um... I love my family. Uh, I am an only child. I have no siblings. And my family is really small. I only have one grandparent left. So it's pretty much just like my mom, my dad, my grandma. And I have like a few distant cousins. But my family is super small. But I love like my close-knit small family. I just grew up that way. So I just like adapt to that. I like that. Um, I keep my circle small. I've... My friends uh, in my close circle have been my friends since I was in middle school or since we were kids, and I've just grown up with the same circle throughout my life, and I really am thankful for that, Brandy obviously being one of those people, 
But uh, yeah, I think that's the short like story. Rare. I feel like people don't. Most people don't yeah. really have friends when they leave high school. I know. Most people make their friends in college. Yeah. Which we didn't really do college. Yeah. I mean, we made friends in college, but like, they're not like in my close knit, like, not like circle. lifelong Not friends. like lifelong friends. Like, I mean, of course, like we still talk every now and then, but like people that I see hang out with talk to every day, like is the same people that I grew up with. So we've all grown up together and I feel like that's a blessing, but and a curse. Yeah. They've been through. They've been through it all. Oh yeah, been I through mean, it all. if they've lasted this long, pretty sure they're not pretty going sure away. they're good. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much the short version of the small details about me. I'm 26. I'll be 27 in May, and I'm not gonna turn 27. I'm just gonna stay where I am, and I'm just gonna tell everybody I'm 20. We should have stopped that at like twenty two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like twenty three. That's that's good. I'll be yeah. twenty three. Yeah, and then after that, they just don't count anymore. Mm-mm. My life's kind of been the same since the last time we did this because <laughs> um, time isn't real for me, and I lived the same day over and over, like Groundhog Day, and you know, like the movie where he gets yeah. the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> not like the actual Groundhog. Um, he came out the other day. His name is Phil. Phil, yeah. <laughs> he uh, did not see a shadow, and they said we were supposed to have a longer spring, and it got colder here. Yeah. So Sorry, I think Phil's stupid. <laughs> I don't take myself seriously, as you can see. You are very well prepared, and you gave, gave like, a great speech. Did I? Yeah, a great voice, very customer service Oh, thanks. <laughs> I didn't have anything prepared. I felt like you were reading off a of teleprompter. <laughs> There's actually a teleprompter about there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Since I dropped out of college, I currently work as a server, and I hate it, and I hate my life there. Um, but I like my coworkers, so that's why I'm still there. It is not my calling. I have not found my calling, and I probably won't since I'm 26. I think that's it for me. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just stuck with where I am right now, you know? That's not. It's life's over. And so I'm just kind of living Groundhog Day. Every day is the same. I wake up, and I go to work, and then I come home, and then I watch TV, and I read a book, and then I go to bed, which I sleep for about maybe three hours a night. Because Honestly, same. My mind doesn't stop. Anxiety. <laughs> Hell no. My name is Brandy. I'm 26 years old. I'm from this small town in South Carolina that is literally the worst place ever to live. Don't move here. Um, there, there is crackheads. Um, I'm, I'm trying to work you serious on me. Um, my hobbies include. <laughs> can you grab, like pull the teleprompter down? <laughs> my hobbies include um, reading a book all the time. I've currently read. A- <laughs> <laughs> no, I've read six books this year so far. Oh, cool. Like 700, 900 page books. Oh, dang. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Um. So, I like anything fantasy and anything that takes me away from this world that I hate so much. I love TV. I have a really big family. Mm-hmm. Um, so, kind of opposite. Yeah. And I do live with my mother at 26 because who can afford to live on their own? You can't. Yeah. You really can't. It's crazy. Crazy out here. You're an only child like me. Yeah. I am, but I'm not. Yeah. I mean, technically you are. Technically, I was the only child that my mother gave birth to. Yes. Yeah. I have, like, cousins that are, like, siblings, so. Mm -hmm. And my family is really close, so I don't know. It's like... I am an only child, but I'm not. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you are. And I'm the oldest out of all the grandkids. Yeah. So, I feel like that made me kind of, like, I had to set the example. Right. I I did great, didn't I? Y'all all all turned out fine. A lot better than I did. Some of y'all. Some of y'all I'm worried about. (laughs) (laughs) Some of y'all are a little questionable. Some of y'all kind of skewed off the path, but you might be climbing back onto it. I don't know. (laughs) We'll see. We'll pray. determined. (laughs) <laughs> i don't even know who i am i don't even know how to introduce myself to y'all but um i'm sure the editor will have a great time dissecting that <laughs> hey, <no. laughs> yay <laughs> let me know uh, how choppy this looks <laughs> in the comments <laughs> i don't know you introduce me oh i can introduce 
This is Brandy. She's 23. <laughs> 16. <laughs> she likes to read and she likes fantasy and she likes the Vampire Diaries. Yeah. She likes uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. She likes to binge watch. She likes New Girl. Yeah. And I love New Girl. she's blonde, petite, blue eyed. <laughs> I feel like you're like trying to set me up or something. Look at this. She's blonde. blonde. This is a show. I'm trying to sell you. <laughs> oh my God. She's really sweet and thoughtful. Um, up to the highest bidder, and I would do a background check. And if you don't fit in the rank, you got to go. Um, there are high standards for men for her. Very high. So, so I'm single. Uh, yes. Been single for about two years. So sending your resumes uh, through our email. <laughs> And Mike, our producer back there, will go through them. Yeah. And then he'll let us know if there's any top contenders. <laughs> but there won't be. Don't Probably not. <laughs> I have to apologize. I have to make an apology. Oh, my God. It's your first YouTuber apology. <laughs> I have to make an apology for the public that I'm really sorry you can hear my smoke detector that it's running out of batteries in all the videos. Um, I put it outside again. Obviously, it's not a priority. <laughs> um, obviously Dude, not. I literally bought batteries at the store yesterday because I needed them. Like, I have double A, triple A. I could have brought you some. I need some triple A batteries. I have some. Because, well, my remote to my TV in the bedroom. Yeah, the smoke detector <laughs> is not working either. And I went to Walmart. Bro, I just heard that outside. I swear to God. Can you still hear it? You surely can't sure hear you it. Sure, you can't hear it in the video, but I can hear it. Okay, well. I have super human hearing. Okay, well, obviously, and I can't hear. We've talked about how I'm deaf, and Blonde. I don't hear it. Blonde. And she has no taste. No smell. I don't have anything. So, um, I, my deepest condolences for the smoke detector beeping. If you're a Spotify listener, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> it will no longer be a problem. I've learned from my mistakes, so I will do better. <laughs> and we are ready to move forward in this new chapter. Correct. <laughs> All right. First question, Brandy. I feel like I'm on a game show. Oh my God, it's a buzz. <laughs> um, I have a lot of questions, but I don't know if we're going to get to all of these. So I'm going to kind of jump around. Okay. What is your morning routine like? My morning routine is I, well, I set like alarms and then I set them like two minutes apart. So mm -hmm. it takes me about 30 minutes to kind of wake up. Same. Um, I immediately grab my water bottle and I chug it because I wake up dehydrated. <laughs> and then I scroll on TikTok and I go get my gift on Monopoly. <laughs> and I play my Monopoly. It's sounding a lot similar to mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go to the bathroom, wash my face, um, do my morning skincare, brush my teeth, and usually make my coffee and... Um, it, if I have time, I'll make a yogurt bowl or something. Mm -hmm. And like, if I'm going to work, I make a protein smoothie that I take to work with me. Okay. And if I'm not going to work, I probably go drink some coffee and go back to bed for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I wake up and then I start my day. <laughs> if I do work, I usually work. And then I've been going to the gym about three or four times a week. So That's cool. I cancel my gym membership. <sighs> I've been wanting you to come with me. I know, but I can't afford it anymore. What is your biggest insecurity? Hmm. Well, we're starting deep, aren't we? Yeah. That's the one that went on. Okay. I think my biggest insecurity, I don't even, I guess it's more of a worry, but I guess it, it counts as insecurity as like, Am I being a good mom? Am I being a good wife? Like, am I doing enough? Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes I get in my own head and feel like, could I do more? Which, disclaimer, no one makes me feel that way. Like, my husband always tells me, like, you're such a great wife. Like, you're such a good mom. Like, you're great. But it's like, in the back of my head, I'm like, am I doing enough? Am I working enough? Do I bring enough financially to the family? Like, and a lot of the times, like, Noah has games or practice and I have to work. Like, I feel guilty and I'm like, I'm not a good mom because I'm missing things, mm -hmm. you know. And I feel like that's the biggest thing I get in my head about. I guess that counts as, like, an insecurity. 
So no, like, physical insecurity? You're just perfect? No. No, I really wish I could lose some weight. In high school, I was always bullied for my teeth. Um, so that was a really big insecurity for me for a while because obviously I have I feel like, like really big, big teeth, teeth are in like smiles. Big are teeth in, are in, like, and are you in. know what? Fuck y'all because big <laughs> teeth are in now, and people are getting freaking veneers and to look just to like look that. like mine. Yep, my bottom teeth are a little crooked, but it's fine. Uh, I got bullied all through school about my teeth and my smile, and they called me horse mouth and beaver and all this and that. And I used to cry like it used to hurt my feelings so bad. But the older I got, I grew to love that about myself. So, yeah. And now people buy teeth to like mine. Yeah, they do. They really do. People want the big teeth now. Like I said, it's It's a trend. It's a trend. And, uh, baby, I woke up like this. I was born with these. So, hate on me now. And if you went to high school with me and you bullied me for my teeth, what you got to say now? Next question. (laughs) Oh, my acne. I hate my acne. Oh, my God. Same. Like. I'm breaking out really bad right now. I feel so, like, insecure. And, you know, it's crazy. Like, when we filmed towards the end of season one of this podcast, you could really tell I lost motivation for myself because I stopped, like, putting on makeup to film. And I go back and watch those episodes and I'm like, oh, my God. Girl, you should have put some on your face. So, like, my skin. I have really bad skin. I have really sensitive skin. I'm acne prone. So, like, I guess that's a physical insecurity. I feel like every time I talk to somebody, they're looking at my acne. Would you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Mm-hmm. And why? I feel like I can be both. I feel like I can adapt to both. I feel I like feel I that. can match people's energies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you were out and we're just being chill, I can be chill. But if y'all want to go out and have fun, I can match that energy too. You know what I, I mean? I feel that. Yeah. I feel like probably more introverted though. Like I don't let a lot of people in, mm-hmm. and it takes a lot for me to let you into my life fully. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm by myself a lot, but I just think that's how my life is right now. Yeah. I feel like I can be extroverted, but only to a certain point. Right. Like I can go out and only do so much, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna head out. I need yeah. a day by myself. To right. Like, recover from that Mm -hmm. so i feel like i can be both but like if i'm around the right people yeah i'm very extroverted but if i'm around people i don't really know like that Mm -hmm. i ain't gonna yeah go out of my way to talk to you you know what i mean yeah i feel like people have different personalities like you have like your work personality Mm -hmm. your home personality your family personality your you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so who in your life do you feel like you are the most of yourself around and, like, who can you be yourself around the most? You know what I mean? Definitely you, obviously. Um, I mean, I really feel like, like... you can be around without, like, no judgment. Just be yourself. Right. Down for anything. Just whatever. Yeah. Definitely you. Uh, honestly, like, my close friend circle, like, you, Caden, Caitlin, Sarah, like, definitely y'all. Um, just... Like I said, we've been friends all these years, and I feel like we've kind of all seen each other at, like, our worst and best. So, I feel like there's no judgment, like, Mm -hmm. ever. Definitely my husband, and it's so funny because I'm really weird, and I have weird little things that I do, and obviously, like, he knows that, and D is weird, too. He has his little weird moments and I appreciate that because the longest time I just always thought he was so serious and Mm -hmm. so structured know what he was getting into (laughs) he didn't and I think I rubbed off on him a little bit he started acting like us he he did I think he like adapted to the way that I act and then he started being weird too (laughs) so definitely my husband obviously like we've lived we've lived together for two years so I hope you can be around him (laughs) yeah um definitely him and I would say for the most part, my mom, because like growing up, it was just me and my mom mm-hmm. uh, since I was like four or five is when my parents got divorced. So it was just me and my mom all those years. So I feel like definitely my mom. Mom, if you're watching. Hi. Send money. <laughs> you got my Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to describe yourself as an animal, which would it be and why? Honestly, out of all the freaking animals, probably either a cat or a sloth. 
Okay. Why is that? Well, I feel like cats are so no- nosy and curious, and they gotta know everything. Yeah. And then cats, like, they have their periods where they just want to lay around and do nothing, and then they get that burst of energy. Yeah. And that's that's me. Oh. Like, you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can lay around and do nothing all day, and that's what I was saying, and then you get that burst of energy like a cat. Yeah. And okay. a cat's always so nosy and up in everybody's business, and I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, me too. So, if you were given, um, like, an unlimited budget for a trip, who would you take with you, and where would you go? And it's, like, everything's free, pay for everything. Like, hotel, air, money, like, spending money, food, everything's paid for. Mm -hmm. Where would you go with that money? Who would you take, and what would you do? Um, that's very easy. Uh, I would take all of my friends and my husband and all of his friends and we would all go to Jamaica and it's all inclusive, but uh, it's all expensive. <laughs> you gotta pay for that all inclusive, but it's, it's so cool because like you literally don't have to do anything. Like that's, I went to Jamaica for my honeymoon for those of y'all who don't know that. And that was the best time of my entire life. And it was by far the most beautiful place I've ever seen. The most fun I ever had. The best food I've ever eaten. Like, you don't have to do anything. Like, you just go and eat. And then when you're done eating, you just leave. Mm-hmm. And, like, you don't even That's have to pay. That's I like about going on a cruise. Yeah. And, like, like, they just bring you drinks. Like, you're laying on the beach and they're like, oh, here's a drink. Do you want a drink? Or, oh, can I get you something from the bar? And you don't have to get up. And like we there's no the time of our lives. There's no schedule. Mm-hmm. Like you can go whenever whatever do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. And there's so much stuff to do. You don't have to drive, which I love. You don't even have to leave the resort because there's so much to do. And there's like water sports you can do. And yeah, that's definitely. I would get all his little friends together, all my friends together, and me and him, and we would fly to Jamaica for like three weeks and just chill yeah drink party eat get fat I feel like I have a different answer but I would go along with that yeah that would be fun Mm -hmm. what is your midnight snack what's your favorite midnight snack like if you wake up and you're like oh I'm so hungry and it's like one o'clock in the morning or like if you haven't been to bed yet and you're like I want a snack like what's your go-to Okay, applesauce, like the cinnamon applesauce, just straight out the jar. Um, honey roasted peanuts <laughs> and blueberries. That's gross. That's oh. not what I would reach for. <laughs> that's just like what I eat. Look I mean, that's good. On. That's good. Like, I feel like those are good snacks. Yeah. My midnight snacks are very unhealthy, so. Like, I wake up, I'm like, man, I want some applesauce. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you, and it's like a really one you might have to think about a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, hypothetically. Mm-hmm. Would you rather go back in time and have a 30-minute conversation with your 14-year-old self or travel to the future and meet your 44-year-old self and have a 30-minute conversation with her. Travel to the future. For sure. What if it's bad? And what if she's like, listen, girl. I mean, I would want to know. Like, maybe I could change it. Yeah. I want to go back and look at 14-year-old hand and be like, listen. <laughs> now, I feel like my 14-year-old self, like, and as I got older... I needed to go through what I went through to be who I am today. So, like, I don't really want to go back and change any of that stuff. Because I felt like that needed to happen. But, yeah. I mean, I feel like... You would go see your 44-year-old self? Yes. Sit down and have a 30-minute conversation? Yes. And see if and see, life works out right? Yeah, because, I mean, maybe if she's like, girl, this is what happened. Then I'm like, okay, maybe I could change it. Or, like, maybe I could do something to where that wouldn't happen. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I would do. That'd be an interesting conversation. Don't you wish you could do that? Rolla, please. All the years that we've been friends. Yeah. What's your favorite memory that we've had? That's a lot to go through, isn't it? Yeah. 
wish I could go back in town when we used to spend the night in each other's houses. Oh and... my god. Yeah. No, like we, you'd come to my house and we'd be making freaking funny videos and yes. watching movies and acting weird. <laughs> we didn't have any responsibilities no. then. Like we were just living. And then we'd go to your dad's and at your dad's we would get on, we'd go in your room and get on Darn Omega. <laughs> yeah. Like just oh carefree. God. Honestly, just literally living in the apartment. We because oh, we yeah. did live together too. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I forget that. You know. Yeah. Me you and Brandy. Chapters of your life. Me and Brandy lived together for three years. So, uh, and living together college. was fun. And in college, so technically four. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I miss when we used to get home from work, and we'd sit on the couch and eat our dinner because that's how we did, and watch our freaking TV shows. And yeah. Freaking, we watch. Um. We'd watch One Tree Hill, Glee, Vampire Diaries, Riverdale, <laughs> R.I.P. I hate that show. <laughs> <laughs> that show went so downhill. I don't know. That's a good memory. Just making Hannah watch TV shows. I don't know if I can pick one. Like, I feel like we had some good vacations. Yeah. So, anytime we were on vacation. Yeah. I feel like, because we have no responsibil- responsibilities, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? You can just be... Just have a good time. Yeah. I don't know if I can think of, like, a specific Well, that's, one, like, though. the top highlights. I have a, a kiss for a kill for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Love these. And it's one that you're going to really have to sit and think on because oh, I put the best people on the list. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, so. Lincoln from the 100. <sighs> God, what a man. Nathan Scott. Mm. And Damon Salvatore. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Lee got me with Lincoln because, oof, goodness. I think I'd have to kill Nathan. Oh, my God, no. He's such a good man. He is a good man, but, like. Them How other, is that just an easy thought? Because them, gonna... them other two men are fine. Like, Nathan is too, but, like, I mean, there's a hot scale. and like He ain't just, even up there? He doesn't go as far as them two. Not in my opinion. Um, wow, I didn't think that. And controversial to what you might think, I would marry Lincoln. He's a good man. He is like, I feel like Damon has so many issues. Like, I love Damon, but like, he's more of like a one night stand. Like, I'd have like a one night stand with Damon, and I would marry Lincoln because like, he loved Octavia. And like, I, if he loved me like that, yeah, I'd marry Lincoln. So, I would kill Nathan, kiss Damon, and marry Lincoln. Dang, I thought I was really going to, like, stump you on that. I mean, it's definitely hard. I don't want to kill Nathan, but somebody's got to go. I'd never kill you, Nathan. <laughs> you got me with Lincoln. I was like, oh, yeah, Daddy Lincoln. I was like, he's got to be on there. Yeah, he's one of my top favorites of all time. <laughs> now, if you'd have put Daddy Rick in there, you really would have stumped me. <laughs> I was going to, but, like, Daddy Rick, like, ain't really, like, he's on my scale, but, like, he ain't. I'd, I'd obviously marry him. I'd kill the other two. As long as I got to marry him. <laughs> Y'all are hearing this, right? <laughs> Daddy Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy issues. <laughs> Facts. What phone app do you use the most? TikTok. That's easy. Okay. I can stay on TikTok for four hours. Okay. And I like to make TikToks, so. Follow us on TikTok. Um, um, it's in the description below. I recently got back into making TikToks on my personal account. And then I get embarrassed. I'm like, man, why does somebody from school see this? And they're like, dang, she's stupid. But it's what I like. Who so cares? Who cares? Don't be. That's why you've been divorced twice and you got five kids. This is one where you're going to have to sit and be completely honest with me. Okay. What annoys you about me? <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> that's easy it's so easy because oh. there's only one only one thing like that i if i could change about you i would and hold on i'm going somewhere okay okay i'm going somewhere oh my god not my pajama pants show <laughs> <laughs> i don't um, have on actual jeans today 
Uh, <laughs> okay, but these are from Rue 21. They got smileys on them. They're actually really cute. I wouldn't even know if I'd call it annoying, but it would just be something that I wish I could change about you is like your self-confidence. Because I wish you could see yourself the way I see you. Because, like, you're a beautiful girl. You're really smart. Like, you have a lot going for you. And I wish that I could make you see that. So, that would be, like... That wasn't even mean. I was literally giving you an opportunity to be mean to me. No, like, I don't have anything mean to say. I, I have to do something that just gets under your skin. That. That you just don't tell me about. And you're like, dang. I just wish you can that, be honest with me. No, I'm, and, and, no I'm being honest. <laughs> like, I wish that, like, you would, you could find that happiness in yourself. Dang. Looks like I need to go to therapy. <laughs> yeah, this is all fake. If I snatch this weave off my head, she's ugly. <laughs> she not <is> weave. <laughs> she's not ugly, guys. I knew her before the weave, okay? <laughs> The first few episodes of the podcast didn't have weave. Yeah, and I was ugly. <laughs> Go watch them and tell her she's not no, ugly. No, not 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 VW. Not before we. <laughs> <laughs> and then A W. Not before we. And B and deep BW and A W. Oh my god. No, I really am ugly, and she's I hate not. my face. See, isn't that annoying? I hate my wrinkles, my eye bags. Annoying. My, you just proved my point. What is your ideal perfect date? Mm. Take me out to a nice dinner and we can have a glass of wine. Obviously, it's not going to be in this town. Classy. You know, like a classy. She's a classy girl. A classy establishment mm -hmm. with like a pianist in the corner. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And he's like doing like a drop in the ocean on the piano. It's like, yeah. <laughs> And they're just playing on the piano. It's like a fine dining, but nobody's singing. Because if they're singing, I'm going to be like, dang, I can do that so much better than her. And then I'd be like, I'm going to have to get up there and take them like So just instrumental. Just instrumental. I don't want to even sing. <laughs> just instrumental uh, <laughs> with my classic glass of wine. <laughs> so like four course meal? Like, <laughs> yes. Okay. Dessert. Four course meal, dessert, cheesecake. Chicky tendies, macaroni and cheese. Chicky tendies, mac and cheese. <laughs> No, I'm no steak, steak. shrimp, mm -hmm. a baked potato. Mm. That sounds good. And cheesecake. And like the place where they bring you out, like the bread before. Yeah, we're gonna eat all that. Oh, I love that. I'm like a whore for bread. <laughs> like, if you take me somewhere where they're like, "Would you like some bread?" And I'm like, "Girls, that even a question?" Like, yeah, I want some bread. <laughs> but like, it's gonna be like we would have to go to like one of the bigger cities around us. Yeah, of course. Actually, my ideal date would be. To end the date, like, at the beach with, like, a blanket, like, a little sunset Aww, moment. That's cute. But before that, we would go to the bookstore because he would have to like books, too. He'd have to be a nerd. Okay. Yeah, so we would go do our classy date. Mm -hmm. Then we'd go to the bookstore, and then we'd end it at the beach with the bottle of champagne and watch the sunset. That sounds really nice. Yeah. Take notes. Day step it up. <clears throat> um. <laughs> She wants a four course meal, a pianist, <laughs> and a picnic on the beach. Was I've been on some? My husband has took me on some really great dates before. So, hey, he's, he's but not with the pianist. Not with the pianist playing the instrumental music. Or no, and, and the violin. The violin just like itches the heart of my brain. <laughs> the angels. God himself. God himself. <laughs> And sings, sings a song. No singing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. No singing. A nice establishment. Obviously, I'm not paying. You're taking me to the bookstore. Of store. course not. I'm not paying either. Yeah. You're buying all my stuff. Right, yeah. He can buy you books. Yes. Yeah. $100 worth at mm -hmm. least. Mm -hmm. Minimum. 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 And that's pushing it. And, like, then we just, like, chat and, like, have a nice moment. That's cute. On the beach. I like that. Yeah, walk on the beach and get some seashells. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. In another life, if we would have went to New York and, because we did theater growing up, mm -hmm. um, what would be your dream role to play on Broadway? Easy. Eponine from Lemmy's. Oh. 
That's that's a good one. Easy. You get to show like all that emotion. Yes. Cry. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. She is me and I'm her and that love is her. my story. Yeah. Because I'm never the one. As Caroline Ford said in episode one of season one of the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Yeah, easy. Definitely Ebony. And then sure. she gets to come back for the ending song, too. Yeah. And, like, Cosette doesn't even get to come back. And Cosette's yeah. not in, like, all the numbers yeah. like Ebony is. Like, Ebony, like, you feel sorry for her. You're like, oh, like, poor girl. And I love that. And, and she's in, like, all of the big of the numbers. Stuff. Yeah. And then you get to die on screen, which is, or on stage, whatever, which is cool. Mm-hmm. And then you get to be in the end, too. Like, yeah. Fun fact, uh, Mandy uh, watched Les Mis. I had to buy it. Because mm-hmm. I had to, well, I had to rent it. I didn't buy it, but uh, I, I wanted have it to on watch DVD. It. I do too, but it's at my mom's, and it was like late, and I didn't want to go get it. I have three different versions of Play and <laughs> I have the concert one with Nick Jonas as Marius. Oh, God. it's good. But we watched it the other night, and I literally said to him, "I was like, that's my dream role. Like, if I would want to be her." I literally said that the other day. Dave, if you're watching, he'd be like, "Yeah, she totally said that." What toxic traits do you think you have? Just so unmotivated. But I feel like I'm unmotivated because I've tried to succeed before and I've failed so many times Mm -hmm. that I'm just unmotivated and have no desire to do anything. And I'm really bad about texting people back. Like, I'll text you back, but, like, and I'll look at your text and I'll be like, I'll think about it and then I'll, (laughs) I just won't text you back because, I don't know, it scares me. I'm like, oh, God. (laughs) Bad texter. Um, bad texter. I will text you back. It might take a few hours. And I'll see it. And I'll be on my phone. But. <laughs> Red but like receipts I... will show up. <laughs> <laughs> they will show up. And I will get to you. <laughs> I'd rather you just freaking call me. Like, you got something to say. I like to talk on the phone. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to sit here and text back and forth and have a 30-minute conversation on the phone when you could just call me and I can have that conversation in 10 minutes. True. Like, if you really need me, just call me. Yeah. I don't know. What else is toxic about me? I feel like all my toxic traits are kind of can be a good thing, too. Like, I expect a lot from people. But, yeah, I expect a lot from you. Because if I'm giving you 100%, I expect that back. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if that's toxic. No, I don't think so. I'm going to give you the same energy you give me. Yeah. I'm like that, too. I'm big on, like, vibes and energy. So... If Whatever you give me, bad. I'm going to reciprocate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like it's hard for me to be serious. Like, I can have a serious conversation, and I will have serious conversations. But it's hard for me to be serious. Yeah, I'm like that, too, honestly. Yeah, like, I don't t- Uncomfy <laughs> take things conversations. too seriously. I don't like confrontation. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, I feel that. Like, it'll take a lot for me to get to that, and I will confront. But, yeah. It- and After it, it balls up in my head yes. for a month or so, and I'll break down and cry about it, mm-hmm. then I'll confront you. <laughs> then I'll confront you, and it when I confront you, I will confront you. Yeah, you know and I mean? it's going to be not, not that great. What would people be surprised to know about you? You know, people see you and like they have assumptions about you. What would they be surprised that you do? Like, what's something that? about yourself that people would be surprised um to know i don't know if this answers it but like there was some like girls at work um now like everything's fine and like it's you know people go in and out and like but there there were some people that i used to work with that thought like i was really self-absorbed which is not true um i would say like i am confident in a lot of areas and i present myself as confident but I think some people mistake that for me being like really self absorbed, self absorbed, mm-hmm. and full of myself. And I think like one person had said like m- my life is perfect and like I get handed everything because I have a good husband and all this and that. And, like that's not true. Um, I feel like that's just like an outside looking in perspective. Like I just I don't tell people like. The bad stuff, I guess. Like, if I don't know you like that, like, I'm not going to tell you, like, all my problems, like, the bad stuff. So, I guess people just assume that, like, my life is so good and, like, I just get handed everything and, oh, my gosh, she thinks she's the shit. Like, and that's, like, 
so far from the truth. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm pretty humble. Uh, I feel like you just worked with a lot of older people. Yeah. And you were like a young girl. And I feel like mm-hmm. the older people just kind of. Jealousy is really ugly. Hate their lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like jealousy is an ugly trait to have. And I feel like. I don't want to be like, oh my God, they were so jealous of me. But like, I mean, I do have a good husband. I have like a good life. And I feel like. But they don't know everything you've been through. That's just to get to assume. where I'm at today, because you know? I don't talk about a lot of that with people. And, like, the things that I've went through in my life. And, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry that you and your husband fight every day and hate each other. Like, and I don't. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I guess I don't know if that answers the question. But that's just the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. I want to say I almost forgot what the question was about. <laughs> If you could have any animal in the world as a pet and, like, domesticate it and it be a good pet, like, what would you have? What would you pick? And it can't be a fictional. No, it has to be a real animal. I want a dragon. (laughs) Well, they have, like, I want to fly to work on my dragon and... (laughs) They have, like, bearded dragons and, like... No, a whole dragon. A whole dragon I can send. (laughs) So, flying fictional dragon. And if it can't be that, let's see, probably a kangaroo. Oh, they, they like, that would be a good guard animal because they like to beat the shit they out of people. They can jump up and kick. Yeah. And protect Somebody me. broke in your house. But imagine. They it, see that kangaroo. <laughs> they're going to take off running. And he's going to be cool too. Like he got a, his hat on backwards. He got a like jersey kangaroo jack. on. Yeah. Like kangaroo jack. Yeah. Like, <laughs> honestly, that's smart. I have that movie on DVD. <laughs> Me and my dad used to watch that when I was younger. Me too. Me and yeah. my dad used to watch that. Honestly, that's smart. But, like, and imagine having the baby one. Like, the, when it was a baby kangaroo. Aww. And, like, you know, I can teach him how to use the bathroom and stuff. Yeah. And, like, you call me. What you doing? Oh, we just chilling. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there beside me. We're watching TV. <laughs> they get really big. Yeah. But I would want him to be able to talk, too. <laughs> Like, when we're watching TV, I'd like to talk to him, like, yeah, who's your, what's your favorite character? And he'd be like, t- yeah. So, either a dragon or a talking kangaroo. <laughs> I told you, I have unrealistic standards. Take note. <laughs> so, I would either like a dragon or a talking kangaroo. Now, imagine me and the kangaroo pulling up at the Starbucks. <laughs> Oh, my God. Like how people pull up with their dogs and stuff. Yeah, there's a kangaroo. Chino. Y'all have a kangaroo, Chino. Okay, no, like he, a roo cup. He'll take a black coffee. <laughs> Don't give him that pup cup. He wants a uh, shaken espresso <laughs> with oat milk. <laughs> Two parts I see caramel. you grabbing that pup cup. <laughs> Put it down. He will not. See how big he is? He wants a Trenta. <laughs> if they were to make a movie about your life, who would you get to play you in the movie? Blake Lively. Really? Yeah. She's hot. And she's blonde. And I, I wish I was as tall as her. <laughs> yes. The, the I mean, legs. realistically, do I look like her? No. But we share the same birthday. And she's blonde. She's just a lot prettier than me. Mm-hmm. But if I'm doing the casting, then yeah, that's who I'm picking. I mean, if we wanted somebody that looked like me, like, I don't know. You don't think you have any celebrity doppelgangers? No. I've been told that I favor the girl on TikTok, which I don't really see it. Uh, but several people have told me I favor the girl on TikTok. Uh, I think her name's Mackenzie. Uh, she's married to that Clemson football player. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people tell me that we kind of favor, which I could see it, but I can't. Mm-hmm. But she's not an actress, so. So yeah. she doesn't get the part. No. It's going to Blake Lively. It's going to Blake Lively for sure. <laughs> Let's say, hypothetically, because it'll probably never happen, that this podcast blows up mm-hmm. and we get famous. Like, we're influencers. <laughs> <laughs> what would you want to do with, like, your platform? Like, what would you want to do with, like, your fame, I guess? I want to be an actress. That's the ultimate goal, always. Yeah. But... Like, if that wouldn't work out and I was just, you know, just famous on the internet, mm-hmm. what would I want to do with my platform? I would like to have a clothing a clothing brand. Oh, okay. That's dope. Like, 
cute like little princess dresses like cute yeah. girl stuff yeah like i would like to have a big clothing brand i think i okay. could design some really cute stuff okay have, like a cool brand i don't know like your little store like clothing line yes type thing like design like dresses and yeah. stuff okay that's cute yeah that's like cute little idea. dresses skirts like girly just like all things girly yeah like girly princessy okay. stuff I don't know. I think that would be cool. That just like kind of came to me. I would like to, like, if I didn't, like, if I wasn't an actress, I'd like to be. I think I'd be a really good interviewer. Yeah. For, like people, like red carpet interviews. Like, oh I yeah. Do the red carpet interviews. Like that would be cool. That'd in. be a really cool job. Like get paid to go to the movie premieres yeah. and do the red carpet interviews. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. That would be cool. What's your favorite song at the moment? Oh, What's your hard. song that's on repeat? Um, In the Kitchen by Renee Rapp. I put you on. Yeah, you put me on. That's my <laughs> own repeat song right now. Really? Yeah. Yay. I'm yeah. glad I put you on. Yeah, I love that song. But like an old song that never gets old to me that I put on repeat is Love by Keisha Cole. What song makes you cry? Is there a song that you hear and you just cry? Yes, uh, the car in front of me by Luke Bryan. Oh, God. That's what makes me cry every time. And another song that makes me cry is uh, "In My Daughter's Eyes" by Aww. Martina McBride because my mom always like played that song when I was younger, and it's not like a sad cry; it's like a happy cry. Like mm-hmm. it gets me like emotional, like thinking about me and my mom. So, oh. yeah, that's another one. If you could be a sidekick mm-hmm. to any superhero. Which one would it be? Okay. Do I have powers? Of course. You're the sidekick. Okay, but... God, that's hard. Because <laughs> you could go many different ways. Like, I yeah. feel like I could buy up with different people. Yeah. Like, me and Peter Quill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We would just be... For sure. Vibing. Yeah. Definitely. Like, I'd love to be with the Guardians. Oh, know? yeah. That's the dream. That's who I would pick if, it, <laughs> if the question was being asked to me. I wouldn't pick Tony Stark because I feel like he has a big ego and I have a big ego. Yeah. And we would get in fights. Yeah, I love Iron Man, but I wouldn't pick him either. Uh-uh. And, you know, see, I would go with Captain America, but I feel like he's so, like, self-righteous. I honestly thought that's who you were going to pick. Like, when he's I was so hot, thinking you know? of this question, I was thinking she's going to pick Captain America. I'm thinking about it, but I feel like he's always trying to do the right thing. Do the right, I'm like, listen, Cap. You gotta, oh, bro. You gotta let it go at some Kill point. Him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come on. I'm gonna go with Spider Man. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna go with Andrew Garfield or t- the Tom Holland version. Tom Holland. See, I feel like me and Tom Holland, the Tom Holland Spider Man, we'd be joking around, we'd be goofing off. Like, yeah. And I could shoot spider webs too. I'd yeah. be. Like, the Spider-Woman? Yeah. But then I'm thinking of Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, and, you know, like, he was just, like, a cool little indie guy, like, and he listened to Coldplay. Yeah. he went around on his little skateboard. Yeah. And he'd be cool, too. I'm trying to decide which one. Do I go Tom Holland or do I go Andrew Garfield? That's the biggest question. I mean, if it's going to be, like, a friends to lovers, then. (sighs) That's my least favorite trope. I like a good enemies to lovers. Well... Okay, so I'm thinking about being in a relationship with them now. And once you put that into perspective, I got to go with Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. And I'll be I'll be a Spider-Girl. And okay. we'll go swinging through New York. And he's funny. Like, if you go back and watch those movies, he's so funny and, like, sarcastic. Yeah. And he there's a lot of Coldplay songs in there. So we'd listen to Coldplay. And then we'd go and shoot our webs around the scene. Nice. Yeah, because see, I could be Spider Girl. Who yeah. doesn't? When you played the Spider Man game when you were little, that's all you did was shoot around the city. Yeah. Like, that's what I would do. Like, yeah. just imagine being in, in New York City, mm-hmm. just flying around with your boyfriend. Yeah, that'd doing, be dope. Like, tell me that's not the best answer. Yeah, it's a good answer. Because it is. It's a good answer. It is a good answer. What is your number one TV show that you would pitch to anybody to watch? Like, you'd tell anybody, like, all right, if you're going to sit down and watch a TV show, this is the one. 
okay, is it like a funny TV show or is it like a serious TV show? Because I have options for like, depending on what it is. You can't pick one? Like if you, like if somebody like just came here and they've never watched TV before, <laughs> like they've never seen anything on TV, what show are you going to put on for them to watch? The Office. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just sit down. So like a caveman who's never watched TV, I'd be like, bro, you've got to watch this. <laughs> He's like, hmm. <laughs> but like you're going to laugh the whole time. It's hilarious. Lola's really want to be on the podcast today. Hey, girl. Okay, so we're just going to do a few more, and then we're going to wrap things up. This is kind of like a two-for-one question, okay. kind of. So, the first part of the question is, what would be your dream job? Like, if you could have any job in the world. And it, don't put money as a factor. Like, something you would enjoy. I want to be an actress. Oh, yeah, I guess you kind of already answered yeah. that. Okay, well... What job would you never have? Like, what job would you not do ever? Work at a nursing home, girl. Me too. And but mm-mm. girl, no, I would not. Listen, mm-mm. I, I work with girls who used to work in a nursing home, and I've worked in healthcare for a long time. And I always tell them it takes a special person to do that yeah. because I, could I applaud them for doing. I that. could not do it. I couldn't do it every day. No, I'd hate it. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's that's a good answer because I definitely <laughs> wouldn't either. I have respect for people who do because that is a hard, hard job. And they deserve as much as they get paid and, and more. And more. Especially CNAs, like, are so underpaid. It's crazy. What's, well, like, the number one thing on your bucket list that you want to do before you die? Travel the world. Same. Like, I have a few places in mind that, like, I want to see. Like, I want to go to the Dominican, like, Costa Rica. Like, pretty much all the tropical places because... Mm-hmm. Tropical places are, like, my thing. Um, so, yeah, like, anywhere tropical, like, Turks and Caicos, like, I haven't been to the Bahamas, but, like, I've, I want to swim with the pigs, so. I've been to Puerto Rico. That was pretty cool. Puerto Rico would be another one. We flew over Puerto Rico to go to Jamaica, and it looked really pretty. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I guess I would just want to see, like, all the beaches and, like, just travel. I want to go travel through, like go to scotland and mm. go to england and yeah ireland and ireland see the castle yeah ireland is really pretty i heard if you could be friends with any celebrity like on a so like, i can't i can't date them right friends if you could be friends with any okay, celebrity that you could like chit chat up hang out with talk to who would you choose zendaya oh yeah that's a good choice I feel like she'd I feel like be she's fun cool. to hang out with. She's yeah, cool. Definitely. And I feel like she'd be, like, she'd be good at giving me advice. Yeah. And we would hang out and it'd be fun. Yeah. And cool. Yeah. I would feel so ugly standing next to her. But, <laughs> Same. <laughs> and she's so tall, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, girl. Selena Gomez, too. I love Selena Gomez. Oh, yeah. Ryan Reynolds. We'd just sit there and laugh. Yeah. And watch his movies together. Hey, you could be friends with Ron Reynolds and Blake Lively would play me in my movie. Yeah. Starring me. So we'd all hang out. Yeah. What cast of any show, a current show or a past show, do you wish you could have been on and been a part of that cast? Mm. And been on set and been friends with that cast and been a part of that show? The Vampire Diaries. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you have eye candy everywhere you turn. Everywhere. They, all they, all look good. they all look good. Even the girls look good. They all look good. I'd be the ugliest one there. But I wouldn't even care. <laughs> so if you could go back and you could play any character in that show, like take somebody out, mm-hmm. you're going to be that character now, mm-hmm. who would you pick? A Lark's love interest. And I'm just playing. <laughs> Like dead, which one? They're all dead. Oh yeah. Um. Well, obviously, I'd want to be a main character. You know. Okay, if I'm gonna be a main character, then probably Bonnie. I'd be Bonnie. But as far as like a side character, because Bonnie, she 
I love Bonnie. Yeah, she saves too. everybody's life all the time. And I know the obvious choice is like Elena because she's with like the brothers. Yeah, that's cool. But Bonnie got to be with Enzo, and that's a win. And Jeremy. Mm, I'm not a Jeremy fan. Oh, I love Jeremy. Um, he's not my favorite. I feel but... like Jeremy would be a guy that I would have a crush on in high school. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. <laughs> Especially like early. As far as Jeremy. character development, it would be Bonnie. But I mean, if I wanted to kiss all the high guys, it would obviously be uh, Elena or Caroline. But See, I'd just be Caroline. You get them all. Yeah, Caroline did did get them all. She got a room. But the only reason why I wouldn't want to be Elena is because like she's absent for the last like three seasons. Well, that wouldn't be you. You could change it up. You could be there. You wouldn't leave. Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't have to I'm just leave. thinking about the way it, it already is. Mm -hmm. But I think a character. I'm surprised you didn't say Rebecca. Rebecca's a good one too. Because Marcel. That's more like getting into the originals <laughs> though. But if I'm going for like. If they said this is a character that's going to be on a few episodes of one season. Mm -hmm. I would definitely want to be Sybil. Sybil? Yes. Yes. You want to be the evil? Yes. Okay. She was like. One of my favorite villains of the series. I feel like that's really controversial. I it feel is. Like a lot of people didn't like that storyline. I did like it, and I, 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 when I watched it, I was like, "God, she's insane!" I would love to play that part. She's crazy. It'd be a challenge. It would know? be fun. It would be really fun. Like everybody hates her, but it would be a fun part to play. So yeah, that's my answer. What would be a relationship deal breaker for you? Like, either you're getting ready to date somebody that you really like, or you're already dating somebody, and it's just something that they do that's a deal breaker for you that you like can't you can't handle it. Um, if they're not understanding about my mental health, and like if they're not understanding, and if they don't know how to communicate well mm -hmm. like that's so important i'm trying to think there's little things that you can work through and you can work because i have stuff that i'm not the best at oh yeah you know? of course yeah and there's like little things that okay we can work on that you don't have any motivation right now let's work on that let's right together i don't have any motivation either yeah you know yeah no i think that's a good that's i feel good like answer. just like if you can't communicate like you can't communicate your feelings to me yeah this brain will just run off and think the worst. Mm -hmm. And if you're not understanding about my mental health, then. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. That's super important. Yeah. Take notes, Like, guys. if you're just, like, brush it off, well, I guess I'll just go by myself or do this by myself. Yeah. Like, you yeah. don't feel like doing this today. Yeah. Because of your mental health. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Do you want to sit down and I can explain it to you and we can have a conversation about right. it? Right. Like, if you're willing to sit down and understand and talk about it, it. Yeah. And that just goes with the having a conversation and communication. Yeah. If you can't communicate to your partner, who can you communicate to? Right. They should be the one person that you could talk to about anything, right? Yeah. Exactly. If you ha can't have a conversation about anything, then what are your... What's the point? You're yeah. not in a relationship. It's true. You're just tiptoeing around. Right. So. That's a good answer. Yeah, I know. If you could have dinner, an hour-long dinner, with any person in the world, dead or alive, mm. if you could go out today and have a dinner with somebody, who would it be and why? God. Can I pick God? Yeah. God. That's a good answer. Yeah. Because I have so many questions. Like, why me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was going to be like, God, why do we have periods? <laughs> why do I have a period? Listen, can we do a little negotiating? <laughs> no, but like, I feel like there's a lot of stuff I want to know, but not just about myself, just like in general, like questions about the Bible, like mm -hmm. that I don't understand. Like, yeah, I would pick God. So how did this happen? <laughs> so yeah I'm like why did this happen how did this happen explain this why is this the way it is like mm -hmm. yeah and then he can lead you forward and like well i mean you can talk to god every day baby yeah but like sitting down and, and him can... actually talking back yeah. like you know i mean he speaks in 
in different ways, but like actually getting to sit down, sit and down, and yeah, have it go to the Olive Garden. Yeah, oh, I love Olive Garden. I, I just I'm hungry, so I was thinking about food. It's the best answer. Yeah. Thank you. I was either thinking you were gonna go with a celebrity, or like a dead family member. Yeah, because I thought about that too. I mean, I would love to talk to my granddad again um so that would be like a top if i couldn't pick god then that would be i would s- want to sit down sit and down tell him how granddad. life's going yeah for sure yeah i'd pick my dad yeah definitely daddy rick <laughs> good lord <laughs> i'm sending i'm gonna compile all this and send it to matt david <laughs> please do <laughs> please do i want to be noticed matt davis we're going to covington in may if you want to know the dates, mm-hmm. slot in my DMs, Daddy. Let me know. <laughs> I mean, he's up there for me, but he's like top for you. He's in my top three, yeah. Him, Elijah, and Damon. This is gonna be our final question for each one of us. Oh, so mine's pretty underwhelming. Okay, but I feel like it's a good one. Okay. So, you're about to sing karaoke. hmm What's your go-to karaoke song? Like, you can only sing one. What's your go-to? What song are you going to sing? Always, when I go to the karaoke, I always sing Whiskey by Jana Kramer. Yeah, like that's, facts. But one I've been really singing a lot lately um, is the song that Haley sings in One Tree Hill, the Halo song. Oh, yeah. I, I think I can sing it really good. Okay. And it's like a challenge to sing that. Song. Well, if I'm going to sing karaoke and I want to go to the most redneckest bar <laughs> and I want to sing Redneck Woman or Here for the Party, both by Gretchen Wilson, and I want all them cowboys, oh, yeah. Like, that just sounds so fun to me. Like, I want to wear a big cowboy hat, cowboy boots. I want to wear, like, a teeny tiny little crop top with some, like, Daisy Duke shorts with a big belt buckle. Mm-hmm. You know I'm here for the party. Like a two-for-one special, Gretchen yeah. Wilson. <laughs> Mashup. <laughs> Mashup. Yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed, and I meant to say this before, but we have, like, extra light today. But um, one of them just um, died. Battery died. So, yeah. We're wrapping it up. It's going to be a little bit darker than normal. Sorry about that. This is a really dramatic one to end on. Okay. You're being held and restrained, and you're at gunpoint. You can't move or talk. And there's all these big men, so they have guns pointed at your head. And the only way for them, for your life to be saved, (laughs) is for someone to come up and take a quiz about your life, about who knows you the best out of anybody. And if they pass it with 100%, then you'll be free, and if they don't know everything about you, you'll get shot. <laughs> you. Why did that question come? I just made that. You. Not yeah, even. Probably. Not even my husband. You. Oh God. Yeah, probably. Like I've known you longer than him, so. Yeah. I mean, I think he would do a good job. No, he would do a great job. I had a song. But would I probably be dead? Yeah. Like, would you trust him to know everything? No, because he's so, like, foggy-headed sometimes. Like, he doesn't have any common sense. And I'm he'd sorry, be baby. under pressure, too. <laughs> yeah. No. Definitely you. I feel like you do good <laughs> under pressure sometimes. Yeah. I like to win. Yeah. You're competitive. Yeah. You'd be like, no way, I know this one. <laughs> this was a really fun episode. Uh, I actually normally... Like, Brandy's the creative mind behind this podcast. Like, she normally comes up with a lot of the ideas. And I'm more of... sucks, y'all. I know. And I'm more of, like, the techie... Like, I do the social media. I do the editing and stuff like that. So, like, it's a team effort. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. It's a team effort. But I actually come up with this one. And I'm proud of myself for coming up with it. Because Brandy usually comes up with all the ideas. Yeah. But uh, this was really fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. Sorry that our... One of our... um, ring lights died but um 
please, if you like this video, uh, drop us a like, subscribe to us, leave us a comment, and maybe you could like ask us some questions on our social media and we can answer and those for I just want to be surprised. I feel like this is a long episode. If anybody literally sat here and sat through this whole episode, please comment we wanna and know. let me know. We want to know. And let me know if you would also want a talking kangaroo. Or <laughs> in the comments, let me know what animal that you would like to have. As a pet. As a pet. Don't forget to rate us five stars on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And again, please subscribe. We want to get to 100 subscribers. That's like our new goal. Yeah. And this is our 50th episode, obviously on a new season. But um, if you've been here since the beginning, thank you so much. And if you're just now joining, welcome. And I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea like, yeah. about us and what we're about and here. Like, I feel like we put a lot of ourselves out there, but like, you can't know everything about anybody oh yeah during a little podcast like, for sure and we're just sitting here goofing off and trying our best but i don't know well we'd love to answer you guys questions um if you ever want to like dm us uh we're on instagram tiktok uh or leave a comment under this video that would be great we could definitely like always answer questions and let us know what you guys want to hear and and yeah. yeah we have a few vlogs up there's some on your channel and there's mm -hmm. a vlog on my personal channel if you want to see some more of that they're really funny yeah you can subscribe to our personal channels as well if you'd like to do that that'd be great all right guys well thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode bye bye